Time for a little good news on a Friday. Jody Kurzman joins us to dig a little deeper into a couple of her recent stories. Good morning, Jody. Welcome back. Well, the good news is it's Friday, yes, right? Do that's you feel all the good like news we need. It's a short week, but it's been <laughs> a heck of a week. Doesn't it feel like it's been a long week? I know. I even had a shorter week because I had Monday and you Tuesday did. off. So I like. I guess this week feels fast, but it does feel like I don't know. It just feels like a weird week. I know it is so, a weird week. Yeah. Yes. So we'll move on to some real good news yes, other good than news. the fact that it's Friday. Yeah. So I yeah. was looking back and I haven't done a lot of stories lately because people have been yeah. gone, yes, I've been gone, we've been filling in and so I had to go back a little ways but I could not resist <laughs> bringing Mrs. K back. Yeah, yeah thank Of course, yeah. Kathy Kidrowski. Yes. We, we know her as Krista's I'm, mom. I know, I feel like my the people who have reached out to me since that story aired it was it's just been like my mom is getting too big we need to shut it down <laughs> so this no, needs to be the last time she deserves to be the most famous Kidrowski <laughs> in the world but this is so cool and I love this idea and I I might steal it at some point instead of sending cash or checks or yep. that adds up a lot when you get oh, a yeah. lot of graduation announcements mm -hmm. so your mom gives a coupon card mm -hmm. for cookies yep. and you can redeem these babies years oh yeah later. they don't expire yes expiration never and her cookies i don't know what it is they're really good yeah. i've had them once but I'm, i will never forget them she shared one of her secrets with me i'm not at liberty to say i have <laughs> so not a gotten that right yeah to to share that but the secrets she did share with me cannot be the, yeah. the whole story. Yeah. So anyway, there's continue. more. Yeah, there's so more. what I think is cool about this story is kind of proves what we've been saying for a long time is that people want good news. They want mm -hmm. to see the good things. It always is surprising to me when stories get picked up. Yeah. You know, by our by our Gray family, by we're an NBC affiliate, we work with CNN. So all those, I mean, it was a trifecta. Everybody yeah. took it. And it was so fun because it was getting texts from friends across the country yeah. who saw this story. And we're like, those cookies look so good. <laughs> so that's super fun. And I'm curious now, you know, did we inspire somebody else to do this? Wouldn't it be fun? I don't know how we would ever find that out. But I know. If, if some other teacher or some other person starts doing graduation cookies. I know. Cards. And I think oh, there's a saying that people will forget maybe like the things that you gave them or something, but they'll never forget how you made them yes. feel. And I feel like that's yes. what makes these cookies cards so special is yeah. that the students, no matter how long it's been, they send them back and my mom sends them cookies right away and they still feel that connection. Right. And if she can deliver them in person, but it's not even just better. the cookies, yeah. it's the conversation. Yeah. Probably a hug. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. We, we love your mom. Kathy, anytime you have more stories, <laughs> you got my number. I'll see if she has any extra cookie cards from this past graduation I will cycle. be driving through Dickinson yeah. later tonight. So, I mean, I will make a little detour for some yeah. cookies. Great. Yeah. In I'll <laughs> have them ready. Yeah. <laughs> so, the other one I wanted to talk about was yeah. just a little more information on the story I did yesterday. Yesterday, the presidential yes, scholar. Yes, so from, interesting. Yeah. Oh, that so, was such a great story. I don't really do numbers very well. <laughs> so I wrote these down because I think these are so fascinating. There were 161 students mm -hmm. in the whole country, plus Puerto Rico, Washington, D.C., and the Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm. 161 kids chosen. Yep. That's two from each state, 15 at large, mm -hmm. 20 from the arts scholars, Okay. Um, and 20 were career and technical education students, which is what Tegan was. Yeah. She credits all her FFA stuff to that. So here's some more interesting numbers. This year they estimate that 3.7 million students will graduate high school this year. Okay. 5,700 of them qualified for this Presidential Scholar Award and only 161 wow. were chosen. So I don't know what that percentage is. I don't really yeah. know how to figure we that out. Yeah. This is when I text my husband or my yeah. son and say, I got a math <laughs> problem. Do the, do the math here. But it's pretty darn special. I know, and yes. I think like those, number, those numbers just make it a little bit more real yeah. as to how special this award is yeah. and like what this young lady has accomplished and done and the choices that she's made to yeah. To and make it here, it just makes it so special. Just the nicest kid you'll ever meet. I know, isn't too. that amazing? I just, I just enjoyed visiting with her so much, and I thought, oh, if my kids can grow up like her, yeah. we're going to be okay. Yeah. So, yeah, best of luck to her as she heads up to NDSU. I think next week I finally have a normal week. Okay, well, so, we're glad to have you back. You want, yeah, do you want a little teaser? Yeah, quick, we gotta, we got to wrap it up. Quick. Okay, so I'm just going to give you some words okay. on my paper oh, here. Oh, yes, oh, good. Larks. Okay, love that. Elvis. Oh, okay. Macarons. Ooh. ATVs, 
and Jeopardy. Oh my God. That's what a we got planned week for next of good week. good stuff next week, Jody. You know, stuff we can got, always come up and that can be yeah, shifted a little bit, but, but that's the plan. That's what we got. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for sharing your good news with us, Judy.